Two days ago, a Russian convoy carrying the X-5 nuclear warhead got jacked. Yesterday, reliable sources informed us it's made its way to U.S. soil. I'm going to turn Washington, D.C. into a pile of ash. It's a very tall order. We need the best. Get me MacGruber. I'm in. What? I'm in. Hello, MacGruber. I'm putting together a team. It's filled with American heroes with over 100 years of combined combat experience. Lieutenant Piper will be your second in command on this. We believe the X-5 is now in the possession of this man. He's untouchable. Oh, I'll touch him, rookie. I'll touch him wherever I want. What is the plan? Well, I don't use guns, so I'm going to use homemade explosives that I made with my own two. Oh, no, no, this better not be some kind of joke. Do not underestimate this man. Where have you been? I just took an upper decker in the master bathroom. Upper decker? Yes, yeah, where you take a number two in the water tank and not in the bowl. You look great. I got you. <laughs> How did you know I was wearing a bulletproof vest? You're wearing a bulletproof vest? Awesome! Tick, 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 tick! Have you ever been to DC? No, sir, I haven't. I was talking to the missile. Gruber. Gotcha. <laughs> You're the one he wants to come after. Why can't you be dressed like you? Because you are. Now remember, Bagul, you gotta keep him on the line long enough to get a location. Don't worry, I've done this before. Listen to me, you piece. He hung up. Did you get it? No. Damn it, is that thing working? Let's move! All right, we got a nuclear warhead. Holy. What's wrong with Ruber? You can defuse it, right? Are you kidding me? Look at all this crap. It's like a million wires in here. I'm more like a three wire guy. MacGruber. Don't worry, we got your back. We're only seven blocks away, so if anything goes down... Seven blocks? Okay, you got me. About 20 blocks. Wasn't anything closer? Nope. There were tons of spots closer. Yeah, with meters. <laughs> A gunslinger on the run just discovered... Where the hell am I? In the Dominion of Canada. Just when you thought it couldn't get no worse. That's a hideout. Your bottom is bleeding. Yeah. I know. He'll have to learn to fit in. I'd say a 36 caliber, am I right? I didn't get a good look at it on the way in. What is that stench anyway? <clears throat> it is that bad, isn't it? <clears throat> Ladies. Nice blouse, by the way. Doc tells me we're dining partners. Just great. I think Dylan is incredibly romantic. I'll tell you what, I'd kill for some more potatoes. You ain't from around here, are you? America. Oh. He's a gunslinger without a fight. I'm calling you out. Hey, well... <laughs> In a town without a clue. It says here you killed six men. Eleven. Well, <laughs> With a woman who speaks her mind. So why is there a price on your head? You shoot someone who is tending to your horse? Thank you for inviting us. Us? Howdy, General. That's a particular breed of man to carry off an outfit like that. On April 30th. Where's the Montana kid? I will bleed this town till I find him. That's bad. Well, there's four of them, you damn fool. Are you that good? Oh. Count of three, everyone lowers their weapons. One. Two, three. I said three! Paul Gross. Cry. Sienna Guillory. Cry, cry. Dustin Milligan. <laughs> Callum Keith Rennie. You ain't worth the bullet. She is most definitely worth a bullet. Hey! No, I don't, I don't mean that way. He's clueless. He's hopeless. That's bad. He's gunless. Come on, you deaf mule. I'm doing the clicking thing.
You do not speak with anybody other than the next of kin. No friend, no neighbor, or mistress. We're racing Fox, CNN, what have you. We got to be first. Avoid physical contact. In case you feel like offering a hug or something, don't. I'm not going to be offering any hugs, sir. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that say. Are you Mrs. Peterson? How did it happen? He was killed in action yesterday. That's all the information we have now, ma'am. Okay, that, thanks. I, I know this can't be easy for you. Goodbye. But now I found I was blind. We walk into these people's lives, we don't know anything. I see. Trust me, you don't want to know. They're human beings. They're just people. They're not like you. You gotta wake up. You're in the army. Yeah, I know. I gave blood to the army. I fought! I was great. If I can do anything, my heart to fear. We were uh, thinking about getting some pizza. Raise my fears. You're my buddy, aren't you? We've been to hell and back together. What happened to you guys? I wouldn't worry about it. We do all our own stunts. <laughs> I said there'd be days like these. I was blind, but now I see.